say that tomorrow evening it will be my pleasure and my honour to host an event in Parliament where our friends from Hezbollah will be, will be speaking. I'd also invited um, friends from Hamas to come and speak as well. The idea that an organisation that is dedicated towards the good of the Palestinian people and bringing about long-term peace and social justice and political justice in the whole region should be labelled as a terrorist organisation by the British government is really a big, big historical mistake. Well, my message to him uh, to go maybe hang out a little bit in Gaza Strip and try to see the mindset of Hamas. You know, uh, He cannot be sitting in, at his comfort using Hamas and other terrorist organisations uh, to mock and challenge his uh, political opponents uh, in a different uh, uh, region. I think this is uh, uh, the act of a coward. When Hamas believes in the other and their right to exist, not only Israel, by the way, uh, Hamas uh, believes in an Islamic global state. And Hamas believes that uh, everyone else is going to hell. Uh, this is very extreme, and Hamas has a very... Uh, ambitious uh, political and religious uh, agendas that wants to dominate humanity, dominate uh, the global, or if possible. You know, now with this kind of mindset, I am not seeing a room for dialogue and negoti negotiations. If we are dealing with this type of people who don't want to talk and they're just pretending to be open-minded to achieve uh, some uh, bargaining uh, chips uh, in the short uh, term. Uh, the ones who want to buy their lies, uh, good luck, you know, they are just deceiving uh, this type of uh, idiots uh, who think that they are smart. Uh, democracies uh, don't negotiate with terrorists for a reason. There is an essence and there is a soul for this decision because terrorists use violence to achieve their uh, political uh, goals and this by itself uh, is not acceptable.